Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is the second part on what I called a window arch. And if you haven't watched the first part, you, know, you might want to back up and watch it because we got to this part. And now we need to add the arches. And um, here's the one I drew. But anyway, um, this is kind of fun. You want to make a copy of your uh, your work. I had a funny line in there. Let's delete it. Let's make a copy of this. Control D and move it over. We only need this arch right here. So we're going to take our virtual segment delete key and we're going to delete that. Now we want to contour this back again. Go up to effects, contour 0 0.09. Now we've got our contour back. I always like using the smart fill tool. And now we have that good shape. We don't have to break the contour apart. And we can left click, right click, and we have that. Now, we don't really want this crossbar because then later on it's going to cause a problem. So take your two point line and just make a line there and make a line there holding down your control key and let's get rid of these lines okay now you know what we're going to do we're going to use the smart fill tool again to complete that move it up left click right click now we don't have any broken lines I could have welded it to but we definitely have some broken lines right there so this way you know you're done. Bring it down. And this is the kind of the fun part, I think. You're going to take and you're going to take where you get to a the crosshair section and you're going to put this right there. It's kind of lined up. Control D, make a duplicate of it. Get to you, get your crosshair, and move it right there. Control D again, and it'll go put it right on there. Now, this is where the virtual segment delete key, I think, helps quite a bit. I went too far. As long as you don't touch anything, it's going to delete the line you don't touch. Or I guess it's going to delete the lines you don't touch. It's going to only delete what you touch. Now we're going to take that and make Control D, duplicate, mirror it around, hold down our Control button and move it over. We're going to take that one, Control D, mirror it, hold down our Control button and move it over. And we're going to go back later and, and check, see how close we are. Control D, duplicate it. Hold down your control button. And that way you're getting on the same line. Zoom in here. We're pretty close on that one. We need to move this one over a little bit. Whoop. I've got my nudge factor still set on real high. Matter of fact, I don't even know where it went. There we go. We need to set it on point zero zero one. Let's zoom in here. You can tell the one we're off. That one right there. We just need to zoom in and get it pretty close to center. I think I did pretty good on the first one. A little bit more. That's pretty good. Somehow I got off on this line right here. But now all you have to do is take the virtual segment delete key. I call it a delete key. It's actually a just segment delete. But I got started calling it a key and it's been a key ever since. I like it. I mean, it's one of my favorite tools. Um, now a lot of people are going to say, well, why didn't you weld it? There's too much going on to weld it. Um, 
or leave for me. I can't get the weld, weld to work when there's this many lines. And I apologize for taking your time, but you're going to see the end result in just a second. Zoom in here a little bit more. The key is zooming it in. Now, we're not perfect on these lines as far as this one, you know, going up, but you take your smart fill tool and fill it in, then move your nudge factor back to five inches. You've got a good, clean, crisp window arch. Uh, that would cut out, you know, now take this one and left click, right click, that would cut out and, and uh, make a pretty nice deal. And because you've color filled it and you've, you've taken everything, um, you know, you made it a smart fill, you can make this thing as big as you want it. Anyway, speaking of that, I did this for a lady today, giving it to a teacher. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thanks for watching.